you very much. We don't believe, I don't believe we have minutes in case someone is surprisingly holding minutes. So we'll move past that. I received the priority list from Chuck. Bill will have to speak his priorities into existence. And Peter was not here last time as he looked different and was Francois. So I last night sent out my priorities. They are much less priorities and more akin to things we could do versus things we couldn't or should wait on. So I guess we can have an open discussion on where different members are now and if we move some things around or strike things you are the committee I am just making a recommendation I'm hoping that after this meeting we can set a another meeting where the purpose will be to review the report in its entirety and then be done for another year so are there any questions that have come to fruition over the last month well I see Obviously, you, the the crew, the chief screws are. You push that off. To, you recommend pushing that off. Is that going to be a problem with the vehicle, current vehicle he has? It's not perfect, and it was at down at the DPW for about a week. But when I did ask him point blank, I said, "Cruiser or chief's car, which is more, which is the higher priority?" And he said, "Cruiser." and we can't justify buying two vehicles this nope. year unfortunately so right, it's going to have to be okay for at least another year unfortunately if we had the funding available i would love to upgrade and update the chief's car but for now it is more important that we keep our cycle rotation in good order I think in future years, the chief may prefer a, I don't know why, but a, a one, one, none, and then a different order instead of on one, off one, but we'll see about that. He's uh, been out this week sick, much like everybody else around, so. And the other thing, did you ask with the replacement uh, standard cruiser, uh, I know Bill had asked about the preference. Pro what? Preference. That was the answer. He try. He went on and did speak on some of the <coughs> advancements that the Chevy has over the Ford. But at the end of the day, it is preference. So as far as cost of maintenance, there isn't. When, when oh, and we other. do our own maintenance in house. And right. Well, I meant as far as requiring more maintenance or anything like that. So. No. Okay. I mean that that's why we went with the Chevy because the position was put forth that they are not as maintenance heavy as the Ford. Right. Then let's stick with that. <laughs> like. Well. Just for the record, um, I don't understand why the chief needs a full cruiser. Uh, I know he wants four wheel drive, but I don't know why he can't get some other four wheel drive that's not $76,000. And we can likely talk about that as we head forward to a year where we can more favorably consider funding that. Right. Okay. Duly noted. Because it's just there. It's not a high enough priority, unfortunately, as much as I would like it to be right now, to even really consider it. Like at another certain point, point I if we weren't going to do the cruiser, maybe I I would have suggested kind of stacking up towards a brush mower because we're going to need one of those sooner than later. Our brush mowers from the late 70s. Right. So there are a number of priorities, but public safety is one of them, is the top. The SCBA, I think, 
I spoke with Chief Hayes. That's more or less going to end up kind of being a a savings account towards the purchase of those because I don't believe you can, as I initially thought, purchase them kind of two by two by two. What's what's the SC? Is that a breathing apparatus? Yeah, it's a yeah. breathing apparatus. And it, I assume. He's always been good in the past, but he's looked at any possible grants or anything. Yeah, and he did tell me that the grants become more applicable as you get closer to actually needing the breathing apparatus device. Like right now, he doesn't really need them until, need the funding until FY29. But I did want to try to put a little bit away each year versus having to take a $200,000 hit and have a majority of our capital expenditures one year be the breathing apparatus for the fire department, even though we are likely to be able to fund those via grant someday. If we had another project that was of similar cost and of higher priority, I would have likely gone with proposing that, but pushing that back for another year, but there didn't seem to be anything that made a whole lot of sense. So now you gave us two spreadsheets. Yep. One, one was 2.49. And the other is 269. I presume the 269 is within the budget, and the 2.49 is from it. Yeah, so what we do every year is there are two grants, uh, two sheets, two spreadsheets. One is the actual items that would be funded if the proposal went through either through free cash or through another means as indicated in the capital plan the other places items on the capital plan to be noted as priority and to be noted as something some items we are working towards but that has more optional funding sources such as borrowing or grants things that may not come to fruition a conversation i do want to have before the end of this meeting is how hard the committee recommends pushing the borrowing of a hundred thousand dollars for a fire truck so but that we can talk about that after we get to the point of being done with the other conversation Okay. I like your list. I do too. I don't said I don't have any issues with it. <clears throat> I mean, it's pretty. Uh, I move to accept uh, the list as presented by the town administrator for fiscal year twenty five to twenty nine, or in budget projects. I second that. All right. Any discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. I will work on the finalized document for presentation at another meeting. And then on the other sheet, the only real conversation to be had is the fire truck. The library heat pumps are is a grant that I have going right now. Like I'm anticipating oh, a response from Green Communities within the next month. A so positive response? I don't know. <laughs> if we get a positive response, we get another big check to put behind this bench. Like, so, so there's always that. But I don't know, I've been working with them for the last couple months. We asked for about $200,000 to do an electrical upgrade and mini splits over, over the whole library. All right, so fire truck conversation. Well, before that, I did a 
Last year, I added a boiler replacement at Hubberson Center School to the capital plan. We received a quotation for $50,000 from the school facilities director. Turns out that the, the quote that he sent me that I took for gospel was outside of prevailing wage and we wouldn't be able to use, utilize as a community. So I opened it up two months ago and the lowest and only quote we got was for $116,000. So now I'm hoping to either speak with the legislators or find some way to come up with another 65000 but I didn't think it was imperative to put it on the list right now because it is one of those items where if we really needed to put it on town meeting as a standing standalone item, it would likely pass anyhow because we already have $50,000. So I didn't want to take away a spot from something that the only means of receiving it is through the capital. And hopefully the boiler can hang on. <laughs> That's the hope, and but I just got off the phone with the superintendent who didn't necessarily have overly positive news, so I'm anticipating another year of tight budget numbers. And one of the question before we get to the PPW roof, that's done now. Done. Right? Yep. Any, was that, did that come within budget? Yep. Oh, good. Yep. We had to push it a little bit. Like, I think Ann Goby would have preferred us to use the money from the state in the year in which they gave it to us, but I can't take it back now. It's been spent. <laughs> Any way that we can loan, we could take eight hundred thousand dollars out without needing a debt exclusion. <laughs> um, unfortunately, with what our uh, approval rating is at for barn right now, we have none, so no. We're too small of a community for a real bond rating. I would like to get something in the borrowing because when you don't have any bonds, you don't have a bond rating. So right. and that's not necessarily great. And I'm going to speak with debt council, but I do feel as if a finance advisor would recommend the town borrow on something just to get back into, into payments and having a bond rating. But again, I can't speak to that with any sort of authority. But for at least five years, much longer than I've been here, maybe even longer than my predecessor was here, this fire truck was on this capital plan, sort of making its way down. I asked the fire chief why we couldn't look into a used fire truck and the reasoning I got there was because of space issues at Fire Station 1. Because it's all about volume. How much water you can hold is in impacting the length of the truck. And yeah, it's a, there's a lot more to it than I had thought. Because I had originally told them, oh, we'll get a shorter one. And 
and then he's like, no, that's not how it works. Yeah. I think the width too. Yeah. And so has the chief given us an example of a truck that he believes is appropriate? Yeah, it was in the in the reports. Okay. In last year, the person had updated their the company had updated their quote. So I believe it was originally six fifty or seven hundred and now we're in the area of eight hundred. Funny how that works. And if it's so, not something we want time to kind of marinate on, we can keep it on there as something we're aiming to do this year. And aiming to do as for capital planning, or and, yeah, it's been on. It's been on there. I'd like to try to propose it because we do need to give some sort of semblance that we're trying to stick to the capital plan. And yeah, a lot of the items on this list are our wish items, our grant items that we're going for, our street design projects. So a lot of them could come together and just roll over year year after year after year. But with that, it's going to be a lot more hands-on to try to get that. Well, realistically, to come up with eight hundred thousand dollars, if we don't pick a, some type of loan on it, I don't see it that wouldn't. Happen. No, it wouldn't be. It, it's either borrow or or we push it another year. And but I don't see us having them next year. I mean, well, it's either borrow, push it another year, and then talk about borrowing again. Right. Like no matter what, we we borrow on the fire truck. And how bad is this truck now? I know we spent some some money on the pump repair I think, yeah. a couple years ago but it's bad enough where it's been a request for some time now I can see if Bob is available or we can pull up the Department capital plan, this is from last year, the department capital plan had engine two replacement moved to FY24 and we requested ARPA funding for this. The department made a request for ARPA funding and received an updated quote for the for the replacement cost of 801000 Previous amount quoted for this replacement was listed on the plan as 550 At this time, I would like to move engine two replacement from FY24 to FY25 hoping the price may decrease and possibly seek out possible alternatives. 
I also don't want to have a conflict with our request for the ambulance. Okay, what you got? I'd have to go back further to find out greater detail. That, no, no, that, that, it's okay. It's not necessary right now, but yeah. I guess then the follow-up then is when he sent that out, he said possible alternatives. Yeah, that's what I want to, that, that's what I want to talk to him about. Okay. So what do you need from us? I'm thinking we, we keep it there for now and I'll talk to him tomorrow morning and if when it comes back it is pushed a year you'll know the which way the conversation went and if not prior to any sort of approval of any document we'll have that conversation and that would be a minute part of moving it over and creating a, a paragraph that talks about how we're going to go and look for a debt override. Another question that I would want to talk about and it's something that I would have to get the public safety building committee in on first is if we're going for a fire truck do we try to lump it with blueprints for a public safety building and go, and go from there like that's where my mind went with this but I'd have to there are a couple committees to talk to before before we get there because fire trucks have a history of passing we can qualify for grants if we have if we have blueprints that are that are ready to go but that's kind of just been floating around the back of my head lately well, blueprints ready to go would have to have had money to pay for those yeah those my vote on those which aren't on the list but I would have to get a positive vote from the Public Safety Building Committee would be about $750,000. Just for the... Just for the plants. And I'm meeting with somebody. That's what you do for a living. You can't smile. <laughs> <laughs> he gave the quote. <laughs> I'm writing a proposal for a fire station as we speak. Am I in the ballpark there? Still about $750,000 for a set of plans? What quality set of plans? Mid. Ready to bid? I don't. I don't know. Wow. I'll have to ask around. Yeah. So that's something I think about too. So I'm thinking we kind of put the fire truck to the side for right now, and I'll see if Chief Hayes can attend the next meeting, and we'll talk about the realism of being able to get a debt exclusion to pass for. For that anyhow I have no problem trying well if we don't I don't see how <coughs> there, there is no other means of funding that right. and the the grant for a fire truck would be every town in the Commonwealth plus so I think that's why there's not too many of those Um, nope, that's pretty much all I needed. If there, is there anything on the long term that you think shouldn't be there? Some of the road construction may end up coming off because I have to talk to Travis. I know something happened with High Street reconstruction where we were ready to do it and then the residents didn't want it. So, really? Why? Because they were talking about doing a sidewalk or something? There something about speeding? Like... And I say, yeah, a million dollars for that and a million for Brigham yeah. redesign. Hmm. The Williamsville Road Bridge project is scheduled to start not this April upcoming, but the, the next day. April. Yeah. So that will be. But that's a state job. Right? That's a state job that they are funding even engineering plans. Like, we have to do. Uh, some land research and that's some what some oh, I forget what you call it oh, we have an attorney working on on takings oh yeah and that's the only financial commitment we have and so far it's been like two hundred and fifty dollars well, other than that I think I'm good I'm glad this could be short Does anyone have any other questions I'm all set should we book something probably get a pretty decent quality document written up in two weeks. 
In what? In two weeks' time. In two weeks? Yeah. Okay. So whatever worked that week would work for me. The 18th. Am I still in? Yep, you're in this whole year. Year? Yeah. I thought Francois was gone for a month. But we're gonna, this is the only month that the Capital Improvement Planning Committee really does month. Okay. Thank you. That's why when he told me he was you going. You Chris, huh? <laughs> I did. He said, he said he's coming up to Europe for a month. Okay. That's why when he told me he okay. was coming back in the middle of I January, have no problem I, it, yeah. sticking with it for a month. So the the week of the, the 15th, 18th. we're looking at 15th, a holiday this year? Yes. Yes. Martin Luther King Day. So, I mean, any other day should be okay? Yep. There's a planning board meeting on the 18th. If we do it around 4.30, you can probably double it up so you don't have to come back to town hall twice. It's okay with me. 18th? Sure. All right. 4.30 or 4 o'clock? 4.30 Later is better. 4.30. All right. Sounds good. Mr. All Chair. Right. Make a motion to adjourn. Any more? Anything else? Can make a motion to adjourn. Anybody? So moved. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 4.20. Yes.